um, Children's Day here. I thought about this question. What would you tell your old self child today if you had a chance to send a message back in the past? Um, so I can start. I think don't give up in your passions and don't um, let other people um, reign in your parade. And I can pass it to Jean. Those are good ones. I like that. Don't let other people rain on your parade. I guess I would, I would tell myself to not rain on my own own parade. I'm not and uh, to not be afraid of being, uh, uh, I guess considered crazy at times because um, that can be the most transformative mind state. Okay. I would say um to not be so grumpy. I don't know, I think of myself as a little child. Sometimes like seeing the glass half empty and I would tell myself to start seeing the glass half full um, in, a, in a younger age. I think it just gives you um, peace, inner peace. Mm, that's nice. I think that's cool to like look back um and like have this realization of things that we achieve and how our mindset was and things that um we were influenced by and also to reflect on everything that we wanted to achieve as a as a kid and as a child and how kids are um so naive in a way that like they have this big imagination and as we grow we kind of lose it um in some ways so it's so it's so beautiful to um to see that in kids so like to have this passion and um yeah, so like be proud of yourself and yeah, don't like give up on those things and look back at your old child and say like, hey, yeah, you got that. You're still here and you're you're doing it. So with that, what are your expectations for today's call? Um Mine, I want to show the proposal and get it ready um, to post in the forum. Um, I will pass it to Jean. Uh, expectation, no expectations per se, just um, hoping to catch up with the developments in gravity and see if I can't um, find some some way to make myself useful to somebody else. Um, yeah. I would also like to communicate that my expectations for uh, this call are to 
share a little bit of the experience that we've had here um, in DevCon. And um, I am also really excited about the second proposal. Um, it's, it's always um, difficult to get support on a proposal right now, but um, I think that we are uh, talking to the right people to, to receive support and hopefully we can we can receive um, that that um, that uh, um, second funding that that can help us continue growing and and um, doing more of gravity. Yeah, that's great. Um, so yeah, I put um, also that who wants in DevCon representing gravity, talking about conflict management for DAOs. I looked at your um, Twitter and I saw your picture with Jeremy and that was so cool. Um, so I encourage... It's a great picture. Yeah, I encourage people to go there and see in one was talking in the Taoist um, representing gravity. So, yeah. Oh, the bad thing is that the workshop wasn't recorded. So there's not like a way to like promote some of that. But um, what was very interesting was that um, sometimes we have like people who is like um, in their first um, ideas of what conflict management is. But the the audience that we had in that workshop was really cool because there were people who actually participate in DAOs and who are somehow experiencing conflict and trying to manage it. So it was like really cool. We talked with the, the Central Land guys and they they are having some conflicts regarding um, the distribution of bounties inside the Central Land. And um, they are like trying to um, make um, like a report of every all of the grants that are there to see who what of the grants con, con, like should continue receiving funding and that have created conflict inside the central land because like no one wants their their grant to be um cut even um when there are reasons and and some of the people who have um received the grant haven't um made what they said that they will do and other of the communities that was really interesting that participated in the workshop was the Coordinate community. Coordinate is um, a tool similar to DWORK, but the thing is that DWORK still is very hierarchical in the sense that um, there is few people who decide like what is the price of each bounty and um, Somehow, like, yeah, it's it's very hierarchical because only the administrators decide who who gets what. But in coordinate, there's this cool thing that you can like um, make a circle and write the names of all the contributors, and then through a voting process, you can also um, like make a better distribution because the people who uh, received more votes um, will be like more um, will will have like a a, a better um, or an improvement in 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 their distribution. So it's 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 very interesting. I I've heard about coordinate, but I've never used it, and I think it can be cool also to have a more decentralized approach on 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 how we distribute bounties. That's interesting. Um, how can we learn more about it? I am going to send this uh, on the chat mm -hmm. of the coordinate. And it's cool because, um, yeah, the thing is that maybe there is some work that is not being so much be, uh, visible. And maybe um, it can like be overseen. But through coordinate, we have like more of a mutual and a collective uh, signaling of of who like also um, did a stellar 
uh, performance during the month and uh, who should also be better um, recognized within the time of the distribution. Nice. Do you think it's something that um, we should use in Gravity? Or something I to look for? It, it, it would be interesting. I don't know how much does it um, like correlates with D work, and we have already ex a little bit of experience with D work. But um, all these tools are super cool, and it's good to to learn how to use them, and maybe um, not to to be used as a main uh, distribution tool, but to use as as a signaling tool of of who um, of the team. Um, also needs to be better rewarded uh, because of the mutual um, awareness that we can do through that uh, uh, signaling process. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll watch this video later. Yeah, I mean, one, when, when we were um, starting to use D-Work, we also had the opportunity to use Coordinate, but it was just... Um, like a decision it, it didn't have any any study but i i also think that they can be complementary i i i think that um the coordinate sign signaling can also be helpful for the d work distribution of bounties i think that's 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 cool and and also i've been like um selling gravity as a DAO to other DAOs and telling everyone that if they need to be better at conflict management or if they need conflict management within a proper case, um, yeah, that, that, that we, are, we are offering that service. Awesome. That's great. That's out to reach right there. <laughs> yeah, oh. and you know what? I, I haven't seen the type form to see if there have been uh, new entries. So I will check it right now. Okay. All right. So we also want to go to um, the proposal. We have this, the second proposal draft ready um, to be posted on the TEC forum. Um, this is the link. Um, it's connected to the Gravity Working Group call notes. Okay, let's review so, it. This is uh, the first part, um, Jean, if you're not familiar with it. Um, I don't know if you do you have access to this link or you want the link? Please, if you don't mind. Okay. Put it here in the chat. So this first part um, is the draft that we were writing and then if you screw all the way down we have here the tc template that's the part that we are working on right now to post on the tc forum so i think we can just like read through it and review it together so we changed a little bit the tldr one um we took the part um where we were saying about the um the second proposal for the inverter proposal because we are going to talk about this here um the design of our economy so here it could be more short and specific so our goal is for gravity to be self-sustainable in the midterm. And with this proposal, we will continue our DAO development through requesting TC's common, common pool funds. So it's very short and direct. I here talked with some of the proposal investor team and something that um, we need to work on a little bit is expectations because um, initially we were told that the proposal inverter would be ready um, 
by the end of November. But um, from what we've been hearing uh, is that even that uh, some of the smart contracts are ready, the, there's still need like uh, a lot of testing and that might delay a little bit uh, the, the, the launch of the proposal inverter. So it's good for us to not like only have that um, alternative, but also to continue looking for other funding streams. Uh, I, I, I would also love um, for more communities to, to have this framework. And I feel that maybe, hopefully after, after this uh, conference, we have one or two communities more that we can uh, start working with. Great. Yeah, that's that's good. Like, um, it shows that like we are like they're working on it and we're getting there. Um, it's kind of sad that we we need to postpone it, but it's how you, it goes, right? But I think with this proposal going. Um, we still have some funds, and today I saw that um the reward teams posted also in the gardens, and they're asking for twenty one k and how much support do they need? It's around eighty four k Oh, it's not so much. I thought it was going to be like 200k of support, but um, I think we can we can reach that amount of support. Yeah, the thing is that like the proposals that are there right now, it's not fast. It's taking a long time and they're like really small amounts. I don't know why this is not going. I think that's also something that we should like promote between the gravity contributors. Like um, from the reward system, all of the gravity contributors have received TEC. And I think that there's people who may be not aware or not active in the gardens um, because they don't like purchase the TEC, but because of the reward system, you, like you must own at least like 10 TEC or something because that's like the the distribution that that um that gets done through praise yeah well the the gardens website is not going for some reason but um it's also something that i put in the agenda today that like we need to praise each other so let's praise I was praising um, last night for our contributors. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so we need to praise. So, like within gravity, we get more tokens and we get more power to vote in our own proposal. And we need to praise for other people too. But like we kind of like lost the praise in. It's kind of like this feeling that like we're not praising, we're not getting praise, so it's missing somewhere. So we need to praise. I totally agree. Uh, also because um, there are multiple ways of being rewarded. And as you say, the, the only reward is not um, what we can distribute in DWORK. But the praise is a very social recognition type of reward, and at the same time, it turns out uh, into governance um, on the TEC, and it's good. Even if it's a small amount of governance, also the way that conviction voting works is that um, the more amount of people uh, that, that vote um, can support more the proposal, even um, with a small amount. So that's, that's, that's also something positive for, for working groups like, like us uh, that have a lot of contributors. Yeah, even like I would do the praise today, like I would praise Jean and you for coming for today's call. We need to praise even like these small um, contributions so we get more 
power in the in the gardens. So yeah, I will read through the proposal and then um if you feel comfortable or... completely agree. Thanks. Thanks, Juan. So if you feel comfortable um or if you have any thing to add so let me know so this is the tldr that we changed a little bit um zap tni last night and then the proposal description our goal is the creation of our own ethical safe and resilient economy system around conflict management as a commons to do that we need two things continue DAO community development. Um, this will be founded through TEC Common Pool. We changed this um, because before it was um, I forgot what it was before, I'm sorry. But it was something around organization operations. Yeah, Oper operations and provision of services. Yeah, so we think that like community development sounds better than operations. Yeah, it sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, provision of service. Yeah, that sounds nice. Four months. Well, yeah, we don't want to. Zapti and I were talking about like not putting a time frame because this would be like the last proposal to go through TEC. Okay. Um, because then if we put like the time frame, it kind of sounds that we're gonna um ask for funds again. Then second, design or lunch. Sure. Our economy. Jean, um, you wanted to say something uh, a little bit earlier? No, I'm just, <clears throat> just listening and paying attention to what you guys are saying. Thanks. Yeah, Jean, if you, yeah, just come out and say if you want. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking to found this through the proposal inverter. Okay. Um, then additional information to add. Then the links. I didn't find the link for this. So I don't know who and if you have the direct link. I just put the link to the website. For CLR. But here are the links to the Twitter, to... Yeah, I think that the CLR fund thing um, was supposed to start with DevCon, but they are taking some days more. But um, there's an event on the 14th, so it, it will be on Friday. Um, and I will be going for, the, for this, for the Quadratic Funding Community Party and any funds that we can receive from this um clr funding it's it's like really good for us okay i was wondering if there is like a because like here gitcoin giveth it goes direct to like our gravity dow donation does clr has something like that because here it just goes to the to the page the thing is that um the project is already added L look what it says like um the, a little bit down it says like devcon uh, community party quadratic funding so i already synced up the the project and make an application but they haven't like started the, the quadratic funding uh, round and i think they might start during that day so um or maybe we can um yeah i don't know like continue loving to receive support from from more people in the community 
Okay, so I will leave the link like this. Then, how does this proposal benefit the community in our field of token engineering? So gravity becoming its own economy will benefit the ecosystem. Gravity will continue with its research, but will have its own resources. And those will be open source, so anyone can benefit from what we build on the Gravity DAO as a knowledge. Um, gravity will still giving its service as a TEC can ask for them in a more concrete way, which means will also be more efficient for the TEC. Okay. Um, so this also was like a question that was um, raised by Zepchi yesterday. Like, we'll continue giving TEC services for how long? Like, forever? Or at some point, they are going to, like, start paying us for the service itself? I think because they are funding us, um, the, the service gets included, like, within the funding. But um, I think that once we stop requesting funds, um, through proposals to the TC, and once we ha we we are more clear with how we'll receive, will we receive continuous funding from the proposal inverter? What we can do is like tell the TC only to pay the I don't know the the yearly fee that we will have, um, and to do it through the proposal inverter. Okay. And um, yeah, I, I would like to give some love to this um, to this paragraph. Um, I think we can also say some things about gravity uh, being a product of the TC and iterating on its framework and somehow um, helping to fulfill the mission of the TC by, by enabling this economy. And also that the, the tooling that we are developing um, is not considered token engineering, but it's very related to all token engineering projects. So somehow we are also advancing token engineering. So I think that that is something that we can that we can continue um, writing a little bit and. Um, Okay. All right. Um, do you want to do it now, or we keep going and go back to this after? Yeah, let's let's keep going. Okay. Um, I I I will be posting this maybe today or tomorrow. But uh, I, I am happy that we are like 90% the, uh, of the work done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And here we say where we come from. So everything that we did with the first funds that we, um, we received from TEC. So starting proposal posted on January 12th of this year and here is the link to the forum um and it's more like a history kind of thing i don't think i'm gonna read all of this it's more like a curiosity kind of thing i think we polished it mm, very good Okay, so total of 21 different contributors being rewarded in do work. And then, then here in do work, we can see like everybody. Um, amount requested to win for K. Um, in next day. How will these funds be used? Plan execution of the budget. Um, these funds are going to be used for the continued development of Gravity DAO 
This is the last proposal Gravity intends to submit to TC for its creation. I think it's missing this, its creation. And then here is the budget breakdown, how we kind of view it going. So this is like the the cases that we can get from um TC. Um grabbing training, ten sessions, it's 3K. And then these are what we called before the stewards, but we want to change that language. So it's the outreach manager, coordination manager, operations manager, treasury manager, and case manager. Each of them are 80, oh, not 80, 800 um, XI a month. So in three months, it's 2,400. And then distribution of bounties. In a month, it's 3K. Nine, in three months, it's 9K. Hey, Durgadas. Great to have you here. Hi, Durgadas. Hi, Zephni. This is like the hacker basement at DevCon. Oh, nice. Septi is also here. Welcome, Septi. Need Septi. After the call, I could use a hand with something. If you have a moment. So this is what we I was talking before, like manage conflicts for TC until, like, when are we gonna do that? Until like next year. Um. Septi and I were talking about like we can go even further than only the period of the time that we're gonna be receiving the funds for. How Just... many conflicts are there really? Sorry. I mean, <clears throat> is uh, is it, how many conflicts are there really? I mean, is there is it really that big of a deal to underwrite potential conflicts and? Hope that there aren't any. We usually get two cases a month. From the TEC alone? No, like from all of our coverage. Right. From the TECs, like we the, the main our main um area of, of, of action has been the TC. So from twenty-eight cases, I'd say like almost eighteen have been on the TC. And the really? remaining ten have been in other communities, but wow. I, I I I really want to scale this number of how many conflicts do we receive? That's a number that I want to scale because yeah, the more conflicts that we can receive, the more mediators and uh, the more active and the more visibility we can have. So like scaling that amount of of of, of the co cases that we that we receive, it's good. But um, yeah, I think this this is this is something that will come with all of our faces. Yeah, so it's um, something to think about. If oh, you want, is that many complex in DEC? Can you repeat? I would never have guessed that there is that there is that much of a need for conflict management specifically within TEC, or that the proportion of conflicts would be that high for TEC. It's interesting. Yeah, but um, I think it's also good that you think that because that's somehow the idea um, that. Conflict is normal, and we have conflict, but we are trying to address it in a very um, effective way. 
way so that uh, the 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 community doesn't get affected um, by by the conflicts and also we've been in the TC over two years so that's why that's why they are the main um, our main um, users but I I don't think that it's that the TC has more conflict than other communities it's just that they have us yeah but uh, I am sure that that if we get more communities we will get much more conflicts because to every community that I talk to here they always tell me like yeah man we need that <laughs> Have we ever thought about um, like offering the service like up the like the first for, you know, the first run of a service for another entity for you know free you know uh, practice and then you know starting to you know charge a or service level you know developing a service level agreement after that like try and buy kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, like not so much on the monthly safety net, but on individual cases. So, for example, we have mediated um, cases in communities, and maybe we haven't charged th that communities, but um, we know or we think that after that uh, first service, that can be like an opportunity for for that community to to get a better engagement. And exactly. we've seen this, for example, for, from Metagame, that uh, they have uh, been, uh, they, they have mediated two cases with us, and and now they are thinking also on on, on getting a more um, in depth um, service from from Gravity within their their community. I mean, it's, it's essentially uh, it's it's kind of like insurance, right? I mean, gra Gravity is offering. Conf conflict insurance in a way, right? Like something yes. you don't ever need, but um, but everybody should have. And we are working with, with about that on um with Durgadas on the on the focus matrix because we are also like polishing our products and our, and trying to 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 make it uh, com uh comprehensive from how to request the most basic of our service to what is the full scope uh, of what we can provide but also we're going to have things in there that will basically um be kind of like what you're talking about we're going to have guides and you know because we're going to be in the content creation business here the aggregate over time will be an extraordinary resource for all DAOs. you know to deal with conflict uh, resolution before they even hire us and so that'll be the thing that sort of establishes our reputation in some way so this is a big part of the the plan you know that makes a lot of sense bianca um uh -huh. in this in this in this spreadsheet i didn't see the active graviton did we did we miss it somehow I think it's within the planning of the budget. Um, maybe it's also here, like in gravity case. But um, yeah, the, maybe maybe this is something that that um would be really cool, and 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 and, and maybe it's just. The idea that I have of active gravitons, or we can change the name, or or, and it's people that is participating in other communities. I like to have people participating in other communities. Someone who 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 is not like only in the TC, but that is like our eyes in other communities. So I I don't know how to how, maybe we can include this in the budget and ask for a little bit more than 24k and ask like for 26k and we ask, ask for 2k for the active gravitons or something like that all right um yeah we can put there if it's 200 per active graviton and we have three active gravitons it would be 600 monthly and it would be 1800 um for the third 
three months. So it would be 25,800. Yeah. And this is uh, one hour a day. Okay. All right. Looks good. And then um, here we need to think about um managing conflicts for TC. If it makes sense. Maybe we can say like Q two of of twenty twenty three without giving like an exact month. But like saying that Q two is like the end like the mid of next year. And hopefully by mid of next year, we have more um, clarity on the proposal inverter and our continuous funding mechanisms. Mm -hmm. And if we don't receive funding either from the proposal inverter or another funding mechanism, we can um, like go back again to the TC, but yeah, that's, that's not our intention. Okay. So then we just, we just say this as like a, um, June until June 2023. Mm -hmm. Like that's like what they're getting for founding us. So it's like a good thing for them to give us the funds. Yes. That's what we are giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And then here is the working flow, the picture that um, Innovator created that um, kind of gave us the idea of what these people here are doing. And then the milestones. So fourth graviton training, analysis of the gravity mental health survey, analysis of conflict resolution survey, content creation and research, trust creation in education activities, creation of a proposal to invert a proposal for funding of our economy, looking for multiple funds streams, outreach to multiple DAOs, presence in different online and in-person events, Graviton Get Together. I think we can change the wording of Graviton Get Together that is a single activity to make it like um, engagement processes for Gravitons because that's actually what we're trying to have that people like get engaged during the time of the tra training and then they like uh, stop contributing to, to gravity but maybe we can need we need like a continued um, engagement for Graviton. I don't know, continued engagement program for Graviton. Or something. But it's something that we can't guarantee. Like, we can't guarantee that people are going to still be engaged. You're right, but like... Uh, it's an important thing to shoot like, for. Uh, Because the milestones are the things that we want to do and we want to reach. Okay, but like, how can we summarize all that, what we are trying to intend with that activity in, in something that is like, that can include other things? Like, I, I, I remember once we talked about subject matter like subject matter level engagement i think that's that's good 
subject matter engagement and then we can also have like rabbit and get together just could how do they differentiate from each other i think yeah it's somehow the gravity don't get together can be included in the subject matter engagement um i don't fully understand subject matter engagement as a milestone just continue training continue training but the graviton get together is something that we want to do I continue training for retention purposes or for yeah retention retention an engagement for gravitons How about that? Retention and engagement for Graviton get together some subject matter content. Okay. Subject matter content is that sometimes the the content that we produce is very introductory, but we can also try to produce content um, that is like more in depth for people who is more in the in the niche and is a subject matter and someone who is like trying to get at more at in depth or a more advanced uh, kind of content. I'm just not really sure about the the word retention, like. We're going to keep those people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's pr probably a pretty, I mean, there was, what, 15 grab done in the first training, 30 in the second, 15 in the third. How many continue to contribute regularly after the training? Co apps are distributed. Maybe we can say just engagement for gravitons. Continued engagement for gravitons because, like, the engagement can can be thought of like, okay, only engage with us when we are doing the training. But the, our idea is like, continue participating after the training. Yeah. So um, we're going to have the meeting uh, for the website in an hour. I got to go. I got some uh, emergencies happening. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Durgada. See you soon. Thank you, Durgada. See you. Yeah, that, that's better. Okay. Because retention sounds kind of aggressive. Yeah, that sounds nice. Thanks, Juan. Okay. And then here, um, I want to give some love to, to this paragraph. I, I was going to talk a little bit about this. But gravity success looks like... Um, when all the activities planned are executed and we can keep the community involved in them, this goes together with expanding our resources around Web3 so more people know about gravity and more communities want to grow with us. Gravity aims to spread the knowledge of conflict management and well-being within DAOs. And we also want to talk about the web page infrastructure. 
in this paragraph. Because that's something in the in the Discord too. Because that's something that it's gonna be our success for this proposal. Yeah, that needs a little bit more of love, but mm -hmm. it's great. I think also in this part of how will you share the progress, uh, also include the forum. Because we have been doing that every time that we make a distribution, SEPTI updates the, the forum post and says like, yeah, distribution of September. And that's also an, an accountability mechanism. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Progress will be shared on this form. Yeah, it's here. Share. Progress will be shared on this forum thread and shared with the audience in the community call. Okay. So the TC forum, we will make updates on the execution of the budget. Through Zen Hubbard, we will keep track of the case management. Through the workspace in execution of bounty payments. Through the execution of plane activities in our schedule calls on our gravity calendar and through new generations of gravitons. And then team information, all gravitons from first, second, and third generations can claim bounties. And here are the pictures of um, the first and second generation POAP and the third po generation POAP. And then I don't know if just the pictures of the po apps are enough or we need the link to them. I can paste the link and it says uh, working with roles and pool of bounties and I see the roles, but it would be also good to paste um, the list of bounties that we have and say that we can create new bounties, but to give somehow a criteria of what we will be doing. Okay. But thank you, Bianca, for, for this work on this proposal. This is amazing. And I was a little bit like paranoid some uh, weeks ago about like the support, but uh, today I, I'm more positive around this. So, so yeah, I, I am super happy that we will receive further funding from the TC and that uh, we will continue our, our operations and that we are having multiple alternatives for um, a mid-term sustainability. Yeah, thank you, Juan, for supporting us and all the, the work and love for this. So yeah, um, anybody please come and help creating this proposal. We want to post this in the TC forum. We wanted to do it today, but we see that we still need some, some work there. And let's praise. We talked about this before a little bit. So let's praise so we can get more um, tokens to the forum after and the deep work distribution for september was done last week um for people that don't know about this yet and if you think that you didn't get a bounty or your work wasn't few for some reason please let me know talk to me talk to zepti or juan we are open to talk about this um, and I will leave this for us to think about, like, how can we approach a way for people who participate in a Graviton trainings to give back to gravity, like an onboarding process and 
how could we gather people who completed the trainings and onboard them to gravity? So yeah, this is what I, I had um, planned for today. Hey, uh, hey let, look who came to say hello. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Hello. Don't worry. No. It... So yeah. Um, if anybody has any comments to share. Um. Thank you, Bianca. That this is really cool that you are stepping up and, and having more leadership in gravity. I like your ideas of like praising more. I like your ideas of, of having more engagement to the gravitons and um, how can we make people to give back. Um, I am also thinking a lot in promoting more the Giveth uh, project because we promote mostly our Gitcoin grant but really we're more tied to the Giveth ecosystem and and there we can also have like a lot of support. Thanks Juan. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Um, Jean? Uh, Jean and, and Septimus. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were working yesterday with Bianca on that, so yeah, mostly like, yeah, I feel like the proposal is almost ready. Another good news is like, uh, conviction voting is not that bad. We only need like less than 100k, like 86k of tokens, which is good. And yeah, I mean, I feel like we're in good shape. Awesome. It looks good, it looks well developed. It needs to last a little bit of polishing and we'll be ready to go up there. Well done, Bianca. Well done, Wonka. Well done, Zepti. Thank you. Well, thank you all for coming here. I'm going to praise you all. Let's praise each other. Let's have this done. <laughs> um, well, thank you all for coming. Um, just a reminder yeah. that in an hour we are having the website call with Durgidas. So we're going to talk a little bit of our progress in creating the website for Gravity. I hope to see you all there. Thank you for coming for today's call and all your contributions. Thanks, Bianca. Thanks, Juan and Jean. Bye. Well, see ya. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. See you later.